Hey, how's it going? So, uh, I'm gonna do a little commentary for this one, and then maybe for the other videos we'll kind of do the same thing, see how this one goes. Uh, but this is my project on Sigma Delta converters done entirely with an FPGA, uh, with minimal external components, so only a couple resistors and the capacitors are needed to get all this running. And you can have an ADC without needing to instantiate any IP or anything like that. Uh, so it's a cool, pretty cool project because the analog signal goes straight to the digital pin on the FPGA. I think that's kind of neat. So we'll just jump right in. Right here is my FPGA. It's a Aero, Aero Electronics Deca board. It's like running a Altera Max 10. Uh, over here is my Digilent waveform tool. It's a function generator and oscilloscope. I've got their software over here. Then we kind of have all this breadboarded. We've got uh, audio input going into here, and then just a little bit of a resistor network in the middle there, and the pin, the wires go straight to the FPGA digital pins. Uh, we have an LVDS input on the FPGA, and that is the main source of the analog signal for the FPGA to sample. And then we have a sigma delta modulator, and that is what creates the digital value inside the FPGA for us to do some processing on. And then what I have is a, a DAC instantiated as well, so the signal comes in through the ADC, gets digitized, and then I have a pitch shifting effect that gets controlled by these two buttons over here. So you press one of them to shift up an octave and the other to shift down an octave. It's, the effect was written pretty quickly, it's just to show that sound is being sent through the digital realm. But then down here we have a really small Class AB amp, just meet up in a few minutes. So I'll go ahead and turn the power on and uh, start my wave gen. Another one of those unkindled, are you? So we can hear a Dark Souls character Things talking through it. As if you so this is going through the full FPGA path. No then I can pitch shift up. So back to normal, like and then we go down a shift, on the front lines. down an octave. So the down shift is a little bit crunchy, but uh, it's not really the point of this video, it's just to show that the ADC and the DAC are working. So check out my page on GitHub if you want to see the uh, any uh, plots or anything like that. So thanks for checking this out.